something feels off and new at the same time. What is it? I can't put my tongue on it. Mm, I think it's feel, the Yeah. It feels so revamped. Yeah. And also, that song apparently that I used to not like actually started to grow on me, so... Hmm. I, I guess, uh... I guess you can't eventually like things in the end. Hmm. Yep. Well, you know? Well, I, the show. I actually heard that the person who made that is really good at editing. I think it said his name was, like, Winged Artist 28. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, his thing sounds very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, what is up? This is Nation 98 here. What's going on, my pet shoppers and video gamers? It's Little Nintendo Shop here. What's up, everybody? I'm I, Ken Snake. And before we start the review, I should note that Vinny is my least favorite character, so please take that into account. Mm. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Winged Artist 28. Greetings, everyone. This is CC Trainer Ling. Everyone, it's Download Bacon! Yay! Oh, oh, oh. that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> what were you shocking us to be happy about that? <laughs> <laughs> and so, without further ado, let's get right into the plot here. So, the plot here is that Vinny joins Blythe and her dad on a trip to Hollywood to see his favorite TV dance show. While they are gone, the other pets come up with a solution to keep their TV remote from getting lost. My first positive, the plot. with Well, the plot with Vinny, anyway. My, the reason why that's my positive is that what he goes through in this plot happens to almost everyone with what they do. Where you do something that you love, and someone's going to criticize you. You're going to feel down. But then eventually you'll find the courage to build yourself back up and just get stronger. Now, as for me, though, in regards to adding like what the Vinny was going through, like in the uh, in his A plot uh, style, um, he, I think I actually actually thought that I thought it was actually uh, pretty all right uh, when when it comes to just uh, with just dealing with like his uh, his like dancing ability, like um, when when he wants to actually like, just uh, go across to the. Uh, the reality show to uh well dance dance the reality show to uh well just to um meet up with like his heroes dad because since his his interest in dancing that he thought well well he actually like it actually does show some bit of growth to like um to know about what uh, he wants to like uh um what he thinks he should improve on with, with with like uh, with how good dance that's a creepy beef um in the long run i mean obviously he dances as is weak but but they're obviously just like uh that's just part of the lesson, like, journey to, uh, to go through. Yeah. And if I'd like to add one positive that I have, um, I liked Roger's pilot safety speech when they were about to take off in the plane to go to um, the studios, because I, I think that was really funny how he did that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anything with Roger is funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just establish that rule now. Anything with Roger, it's going to automatically be funny. In short, Roger lo- uh, Roger Baxter's love, Roger Baxter's life. Oh, yes. Oh, that, yes. That Roger Baxter's love, Roger Baxter's life? Yes. yes. Reverend F- FJV, or just a little shout out to him, Sunil? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Next positive. I I really liked um, how all the, all the dancers on the stage were either named Igor for the males or Karina for the females. <laughs> like, it, it seems like the show Shake a Leg is based. In Russian, in Russia, <laughs> it must be. Thanks, Emily Larson. Based off of Russia, I think it's just basically a combined American Idol. I think it's just a coincidence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyone have any other positives? Mm, I guess you could say Elzard and his crew were really good. Yeah. I wait, wait, wait! I do have to add on to that one. The last one. Dink it, dink it, dink it, dink. Scathing name. Yep. That, that is, is probably the best name in that whole group. Stink, dink it, dink it, dink it, dink Yeah. Name your child that one. Um, yeah. Is stink it, dink it, dink it, dink here, president. <laughs> yeah. Thomas <laughs> Kink. Yeah, may I answer that? Um, well, well, from what I can see with, with El Zarn and the crew, I mean, I mean, sure, they're, they're pretty much like, like the crew that are almost like your typical, like, oh, oh, we're like the... The cool hip uh, dance crew that you normally see back in the nineties or eighties were trying to be cute, but actually, like, actually, it did it did show that they're actually were trying to cheer up Vinny. Um, I didn't mean to discourage, and and, and actually, it did work out with a like a uh, nice uh, little dance number, like 
on the way back to the studio, which, um, no, not my favorite. It's actually, it's an, it was an all right, uh, song to like, uh, cheer him up. So. Can I say two things? One, Elzar is actually based off a sketch from Sasha Conan, Conan Baron, which is, uh, Ali G. And two, he, all the, all of Elzar's gang are based off a different species of lizard. Mm-hmm. That's a plus, yeah. yeah. I really can't explain. I'll just put it on Anna Notions saying what Annotation. The... Annotation, yeah. It matters. I'll just <laughs> put it up and basically say everyone what species they are. By the way, thank you, LPS 2012 Wiki, for the information. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You definitely but... got to give some positives to Plot B with the pets and their little remote situation. Yeah, that, yeah. I actually do kind of like that one. Yeah, I actually find it actually like a little better than the A plot. Um, I mean, it, yeah. it, it is self Seinfeld like uh, with the whole like uh, dealing with a small problems that nobody cares, but it's like oh, like like oh well, it's still a big deal. Like where's the remote? Where's the remote? Ah, yeah. Any other positives? I guess the song is somewhat of a positive to me. Yeah, gotta go to the studio. Yeah. It was pretty catchy. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, like catchy, it was... but but I've it... but I but I've heard better songs in this. Yeah, yeah I've no. heard I've heard better songs. I'm sorry, but I think "Gotta Get to the Studio" is a very forgettable song in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like it, yeah, it was cool. a it was a good song, but it just wasn't one of my all time favorites. Mm-hmm. I uh, my other part that I want to add up is the Vinzilla like uh, intro, which. It's actually part of my obvious randomness, you know, when when in the dream sequence, Vinny was like being the uh, was be- being very huge, like Godzilla, and, and crushing like, the whole of downtown city to find out where the remote is. I mean, I mean, I mean, sure, it, I mean, sure, it, it, it was sort of like weird, but I actually like that was amusing. Yeah, I'd like to add to that. Um, it'll transition into one of my negatives, but I think uh, Vinzilla and Vinny's opening sequence in general was great, but it was really over exaggerated. I liked it and all, and it was funny, and it gets the point across, but they're portraying Vinny as a tyrant every time he re- loses the remote control, so it must be really annoying for the pets to have to uh, see that every week. Like, when when it happens, I would bet the pets are scared, get scared of him, like, constantly after it happens so much times, and he, he kind of, like, acts like a child when he doesn't get their way, or an abusive friend. All right, so my first negative would have to be the B plot uh, when they're trying to figure out what to hide, like how to hide the remote. Well, not how to hide it. Um, how to keep it in one yeah, place? How to, yeah, how to keep it in one place without losing it. Yeah. I kind of felt that it dragged on a little bit, and it did come a little bit too contrived. But as much as I kind of liked it, it it being dragged out for the entire episode for that plot anyway, it kind of just like lost its luster for me. Um, uh, um, before I end this one, um, I will say this, yes, the, yes, the B-plot did feel like lesser, but it actually still felt entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, I could agree. Mm-hmm. Um, my, my, I, actually, or, you, you can go next. Yeah, because I, I have more positives. Um, I would say the song is one of my negatives. Um, I didn't really like the song. It was, eh, kind of bad for me. But um, my main reason I didn't like the song was because you can't just add random um, syllables to the end of the words like EO to make it rhyme. That's not how rhyming works. And it's yeah. like you can't make up words to fit in with the song. Yeah. It's, it's, I would think it's an unnecessary song in a montage. But I did like it more than some other songs. Yeah. Wait, but I... does, doesn't rappers do that all the time? They like make up words. <laughs> You know what? Let's just get old Snake's negatives out of the way, because I because yeah, we all know that Snake has a lengthy amount of negatives. Snake, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just go ahead, uh, so, get it all out. Snake, tear it in, tear it in. Seconds, come on. I... <laughs> For my second negative, you guys also touched upon it already, but Elzard's gang. I wasn't really fond of them, and it, it kind of ties in with my first negative with the song. I don't really like how their how their place looks. They live in what's in what's based off the projects. They talk like gangster like, and they rap. I don't really like those types personally, so I I didn't really like them as a gang. But I did like their character designs and names, like Skinka Dinka Dinka Dink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they- they're the they're the kind of people that probably get shot in the streets. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that that could be it would be something like that. I mean, because yeah, there are like some gangs out there, like in LA and New York, for instance. But 
Um, for, my, for my third negative, I would say the judges and how they act toward Vinny. I, I know there could be double sides to this. I think they're actually, they think they're actually like acting like they're talking to Vinny physically when in the show, they shouldn't be able to speak to pets at all. They're just like speaking to him indirectly, not knowing he's actually listening and stuff. And because of Blight's fears, talking to pets will make you look like a weirdo and no one will like you. So um, I think the judges were also stuck up and they were so hard on Vinny for no reason because he was just a, a pet lizard. They didn't even know he was a pet that just jumped on, onto their table and then they just started dancing. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. it, it, do they judge every single thing a person do- does? Yeah, that's yeah. what I really killed it for me in this episode. That, I, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's the same thing. I mean, well, maybe they're just like practicing. They're like, oh, they're negative delivery towards those who are, who are suckers at dancing. But but I can also add to that that maybe like Vinny actually he was a bit too like full of himself when it comes to the fact that oh oh yeah like when 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 he sees their like oh favorite judges like mm, maybe I should just go dance with them, but. Dances to see see if I'm actually good, but I think I mean I would like to see Vinny like show his potential in, in his growth of, of his dancing ability because you know I'm a big fan of dan- dancing like to watch, but but I felt like I think for his choice to just go up to the judges and just dance, uh, just dance, knowing that well in reality he actually like isn't good at it. He probably wasn't that written well. I'm dealing with with, with this. I mean, because pretty much uh, you know you're, you know he's he's going to get j- judged uh, badly by these by them. I mean, it's just like yeah, that, that, that's what I thought was very disappointing from that from that part. But but yeah, I just wish that uh, Vinny could be written well to just how to deal with with these type of situations if you're full himself or something. But yeah. I guess that explains why Vinny could be the the weakest from that point, but eventually grows in their episode. But it's yeah. humans judging a gecko on how it dances. When was the last time you, you ever saw like a regular gecko dancing? <laughs> or oh, frog? Like, like, like really? Come on! Just last week. Well, you know, yeah, probably in your neck of the woods. But Hello, my baby. I don't Hello, happen to see a lot of geckos dancing and and uh, going on dance competition shows. <laughs> yeah. I'd- I believe we're missing the point here. Yeah. No, yeah, that's why I said there, it has double sides. I, I know. Yeah. That's what, that's well, what I'm trying that's to get at. Frog dancing, I do remember there was this one time this frog was dancing. He kept ha- he'd saying, hello, my baby, and he wore a cane. He had a cane and a top hat. Oh, <laughs> I remember that, yeah. I heard he got a new tail. <laughs> oh, and there was another frog that I remember who was, like, uh, right at the... At this like riverboat steamboat, I think, and and those two kids were like trying to hide hide from all those uh he was hiding from all those those like frogs that are dressed up, but this frog is not. But then for some reason he starts singing um to these frogs uh, of love. So apparently, really, that's another uh, one thing that you, you haven't even heard of from other like unexpected singing a- amphibians. By the way, that came from over over the garden wall. <laughs> <laughs> for a last negative right, I, you know. I would want to talk about I don't really like how the show producer basically forced Blythe into dancing against her will to be a replacement dancer I don't think it's their authority to force anyone onto the show especially if they plead for help saying no every time complete force but they didn't listen and I know it was like a last minute decision like they couldn't get anyone at, else at all but she did not she couldn't dance at all and she was so scared and she even begged um no for multiple times I don't really like that I think the only thing that I can say about Blight being forced out on in front of those cameras is that maybe this might just be me throwing out this my two cents but it could help down the line cuz you have seen on in future episodes, she's on in front of the camera talking, and she's not really camera shy then. So maybe this was sort of like a transition into her not being so camera shy? It could be. That's that's my only thing that I can say about that. Maybe it's to help push her to become a better on-screen human and not just be, oh, cameras get away from me. Uh, I thought Tears <laughs> and Tiaras was for that. Well, yeah, Blank. that too. All right, so overall, it was... It was a pretty good episode for the most part. Was it one of my favorites? Not exactly. But it did deliver a good message, and I liked it. So the song was meh. The B plot was pretty good. The A plot was pretty good. I'm going to have to give this a 8 out of 10. I'm going to have to give this episode a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, for me, I 
Uh, I noticed that M.A. Larson wrote this episode, and honestly, I really love M.A. Larson's episodes, uh, especially in My Little Pony, where he writes amazing episodes. But I don't think he writes be- um, great episodes in Pet Shop. Um, he's I ranked up the writers on the list, and honestly, he's my fifth worst writer in the show. Um, I I have other negatives that I didn't talk about, but they're they're too they're a little minor, like their dialogue stuff and stuff. This episode didn't really do anything for me. I ranked it one of the worst episodes in the series so far, tied with another episode, Books and Covers. So I would have to give this a four out of ten. As for me, I thought it was a pretty decent episode exploring Vinny's dancing interests. Although he was a bit annoying when wanting to show off his dance moves that are obviously bad and need much improvement, I wish he was uh, he was written a bit better when dealing with the situation at a dance related event. Other than that, I like how Elzard uh, regained his confidence. I liked his song alright. I thought it was a pretty decent episode exploring Vinny's dancing interests. Although he was a bit annoying when he, when waiting to show when wanting to show off his dance moves that are obviously bad and needing a bit much improvement. I wish he was written a bit better when dealing with the situation at any dance related event. Other than that, I, I like how uh, Elzar regained his confidence. I like the song alright. Um, not my favorite though. And I actually enjoyed the B plot more with the much comedy on the pets for trying to put the remote in the same place. Overall, it is a decent episode for me. Uh, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Now, for myself, I really did enjoy this episode a lot. I feel like. This episode is really, really good and really somewhat kind of bad. It's not horrible, and really the negative is only one, which is only Vinny. However, it is important that our characters develop, and at least he gets better over time. From all the pets, Vinny needs the most character development, so it's really important that he has this episode. That's why there's more episodes focused on him. Overall, I really did like this episode. I really like the B-plot of the pets. I did not find it as tedious as other people did because they focused on trying to have something for the remote only for a chunk of time, not the entire episode. A chunk of time was devoted on them trying to aid their own creative way to have the remote and or deal with this TV situation. Then it was dealing with Zoe, you know, after she pushed it out and trying to get it back to work. So I did love everybody in this episode. Vinny was a jerk, but he did need character development. So... It's good, but compared to other episodes, it's kind of one of the worst. Nine out of ten. Lowest score I'm going to give so far. (laughs) (laughs) For this being Vinny's first episode all to himself, I will say that it does help develop his character to be a better dancer because I've seen him dance a lot better in future episodes as opposed to him in early season one. Definitely. Yeah, but uh, him acting too cray about the remote just to watch his favorite TV show, yeah... I, I just did not really get behind that too much. Um, B plot, eh, it was pretty good. I can't complain about it. It was funny at least. Uh, uh, the judges uh, don't like him. Just he, he, you're judging a gecko for God's sakes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Elzard and his crew, eh, have them, leave them. Yeah, who cares? They're there. They they gave us a you know a somewhat passable song. Not great. I've I've heard better, but it's just barely passable. And for Blythe being forced to dance against her will on TV, even though she's camera shy. Yeah, you know, just trying to force a teenage girl to do something that she doesn't want to do. Yeah, pretty messed up. The only thing you can (laughs) say is, hey, you know, it helps get later on in future episodes. So that's the only thing that you can say about that. But other than that, episode is, I guess, average or maybe slightly under average so i'll just give it a solid seven out of ten okay guys it's the randomizer time Randomizer All right. time what will we get it's next big, big money big 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 go away go away go away go away thank you plain plain it rio yes Oh, yes. ah, <laughs> my first thought, though, right, and then well i'll just see it couldn't we have uh what me worry that would have been awesome <laughs> if we if we get that one i'm gonna be going ham all over that <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the best episode. For wrap ups, this is Sunil Nish 98. On oh, no. I can snake. Wayne Norris 28. No cab. 
<laughs> CC Trainer Ling. <laughs> and this is like a fetch out for Sonia. We'll see you guys next week. Adios. Peace out, home Take slices. care, everyone. Stay classy. Also, pet shoppers, we have just a few more weeks until we have season three continue with the new with the fourteenth episode being Winter Wonder What. So I can't wait. Super excited. So thanks and thanks again.